don't matter if you're paying four thousand dollars a month on housing child care you're essentially making at least 20. hey guys it's the bougie nurse and welcome back to my channel so in this video i'm going to be talking about how to do travel nursing with a toddler i recently posted a video on my instagram showing how i left the east coast and came all the way to the west coast for a travel assignment with my two-year-old i got tons of questions on how I'm doing it and instead of doing a Q&A on my Instagram story that's gonna last what 24 hours and then disappear I decided a YouTube video would be best because people can use this as a reference and a resource for when they want to make decisions on travel nursing with a toddler so let's get into it travel nursing is a big thing right now because of the pandemic and a lot of nurses are taking that leap and starting that travel nursing journey because of these high paying contracts right but many nurses have children and don't know how to get into travel nursing with their child and may have child care issues they don't know what to do or where to start and i know a few nurses who are traveling with their little ones and their older ones and I'm gonna let you guys in on suggestions that they've given to me and hopefully this will help you guys out. First thing you want to do is map out your game plan. How much money you would like to bring in for the month and how much money you're willing to spend on housing, childcare, cost of living, etc. There's not a one shoe fit all answer for everyone. So of course you have to do what's best for you, your situation and your budget. But the first thing you wanna do is get that game plan, write it down. I wanna make 20,000 for the month because I'm only taking assignments that are 4K a week after taxes and I don't want to spend more than $2,000 a month on housing. I don't want to spend more than $1,000 a month on childcare. And you go down the line. So that's about $3,000. 20 minus 3, we're at $17,000, which is still more money than we would be bringing in as a staff nurse. Okay, so for children that are 4 and under and not currently enrolled in school, you want to see if this is something you would consider because I know some parents don't like this option but you want to see what daycare options are available in the area that you're choosing to work I know some hospitals do have a daycare facility within the hospital for staff at a discounted rate and if the hospital you chose to do an assignment on don't have that option you can see what daycare options are in the area there are also overnight daycares for um, night shift nurses. You have daycares that are open 24 seven. So if you're someone who's open into having a daycare situation, definitely look into that. You can also look into using a family member or a close friend. When I was doing my local contracts, and I'll go into local contracts later down in the video, but I was using my dad, my daughter's grandfather, as he was retired. So if you have a family member who's retired or a friend who's not working, maybe you can ask them to come on this journey with you and you can discuss a payment option. I know one nurse who asked her aunt, and her aunt came with her and it worked out great for both her, her child, and their situation. Now for children that are five and older, and these are children that are now enrolled in school, the best option would be to do homeschooling, right? Because you don't want to be taking them out from one school in this city to the next school in the next city. I don't even know if that's legal, but it's just going to be too much, right? There are nurses, there are plenty of nurses who are doing homeschooling while they are travel nursing with their child. So for this past year and a half, the big thing has been virtual learning, right? And there are online virtual schools. So you can look into the option of homeschooling. Of course, you're going to have to have a nanny or babysitter because a kid that's five to 
12, 13, they can't really stay home alone, so you would still need to have that babysitter nanny situation. But they're not really having much changes as far as their education goes. So I have a two-year-old, so I'm not in that category yet, but best believe when my daughter turns five, four, five, five, I'm gonna be looking into homeschooling as a travel nurse. So if you don't want to travel far and you don't want to do any of the previous options that I mentioned, you can always look into doing a local contract, which is what I started off doing. Basically, a local contract is an assignment that is minimum 50 miles away from your home address. The benefits to this is you'll still be getting travel nurse pay, but you won't be that far from home. The con is because it's 50 miles, you will be essentially driving about an hour to and from home, which can be exhausting unless you get like a Airbnb or a hotel for the few days that you're gonna be working. And if you do take that option of doing a local contract and you wanna stay in an Airbnb or hotel the days you're working, you wanna make sure you put in your contract that you wanna do block scheduling. Block scheduling is basically if your contract is for three days a week, you put that you want to work three days back to back. So you're gonna work Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, straight. You're gonna work three days straight, and then you can go back home and be with your family. And you're not going too far in case of emergency or whatever. And you wanna make sure it's at least 50 miles because 50 miles is the minimum qualifications to receive the tax-free traveling stipend. So the tax-free traveling stipend is money that you receive that is non-taxed and it covers your housing, your meals, and your transportation. So, and this is separate from your base pay that you get for working at the hospital. So let's say you're at 110 an hour for your three shifts or four shifts, whatever you choose. And then you can get an additional $1,000 a week toward housing, meals, and transportation, which is essentially $4,000 extra a month on top of your 110 an hour for your 36 or 48 hours. So if you decide that you want to take a local contract that's not 50 miles away, which you can do, you just won't get that travel stipend and your entire paycheck is just gonna go to taxes because you're making more money essentially and they're gonna take more tax out, which is fine. A lot of people seem to be afraid of the taxes, but you gotta understand you're still making more money than you would make as a staff nurse. Staff nurses range from 25 to 50 an hour, right? Travel nurses now range from in this pandemic, I want to say 70 to 140 an hour, depending on what state you're going to, your specialty, and all that good stuff. Traveling with a toddler can be challenging on initial because you have your suitcase, their suitcase, their car seat, their stroller, and then you have the long plane rides, and then they get cranky. So definitely have your snacks, your entertainment, and a lot of patience but once you get over that initial hump that initial journey it can be very rewarding for everyone involved like you and your child get to experience new states new cultures new food and it can be a lot of fun so don't let anybody tell you you cannot be a travel nurse because you have a child I used to feel that way and I thought that and I did my research and look at me now, traveling with my two year old and it's really amazing. Um, there are so many resources and options out there. You just have to find what works for you, your family and your situation. I say, I say go for it and try it and if it doesn't work out, that's fine. At least you can say, you know what, I did it and it just wasn't for me. But you can say that you've done it and you've learned that it wasn't for you. But don't just sit back and say, I wish I could do it. Because you can. You can do it. Okay? Period. Poop. I hope this video was informative. I hope this video helped you take that leap and start your travel nursing journey with your children. I know some people like to say, 
wait till your kids is older mm, if you want to do that that's fine but you don't have to how much money was i making as a staff nurse i want to say four or five k a month now i don't even make four or five k a week no matter if you pay four thousand dollars a month on housing child care you're essentially making at least 20. so anyway that was just a ramble i hope this video help you take that leap and get into this travel nurse bag because child the money out here thank you all so much for watching if you have any questions or anything i missed and i would you guys want me to touch up on or if there's another topic you guys want me to talk about comment them down below don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next video bye